What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 build video. Today's video is going to be a skill build, which you can do 350,000 damage per bullet with your turret. You can do 1.5 million damage in PvP to the head of enemy players, enemy agents in the dark zone or in conflict. You can one-shot people without even aiming your turret. You can have 100% skill haste and the most amount of damage you could possibly get from a skill build is going to be in this build. The best combination of talents and gear pieces. So let's get straight into this. First and foremost, the specialization. I'm going to be using technician. Now remember, we get plus one extra skill tier. That's one of the main reasons. Then we are going to roll the red because we're going to be utilizing glass cannon on this build. If you want to have an extra blue, it's not going to benefit you as much as doing more damage with an in sync weapon. My G36 has got in sync, and seeing as though we're going to be mainly using turrets and drones, we will always have the one side of in sync proc so that when we shoot our gun, we're giving our uh, skills more damage and we are hitting. Uh, harder with our weapon that's why it's good to roll a red so you can dish out more damage through your weapons uh, make sure you also have artificial hive unlocked i use this on very difficult content this build is can use be used in any kind of content in the game solo legendary i would rather use the artificial hive that's how i get my 350k a bullet that also refreshes your turret and makes it pretty much unstoppable it, it refreshes its arm its uh, health so it can keep shooting and gives it more damage so make sure you guys use this you can also leave it on your bag and well on your back and the little drones shoot out as long as you're within a vicinity of your skill it works really great also you get more damage to dogs drones skill proxies and robotics so it's very very strong against that uh, you won't believe how much damage a single even a little drone running around can do you can take out a heavy very very quickly with both of those skills activated i've tried this build with stinger hives in pvp it can, it absolutely wrecks in pvp if you use a stinger hive you throw it out if someone has got 100 percent bleed resistance it will it will kill the entire team within two or three seconds. It's so unbelievably strong. I'm sure you are aware of that. But the main focus is going to be PvE. So I, it doesn't really matter what you use weapon-wise. Uh, I would recommend using certain talents I'm going to showcase now. Assault Rifle, SMG, it's completely up to you guys. Make sure everything is active. Also Faraday Field, you are immune to shock and disruption, which is nice. And you get a 15% bonus while aiming a skill, a bonus armor. So let's go through the build itself. So the best way to, to get the most amount of damage out of... A gear piece is, is three piece hardwired. Now the Murakami gives you 10% skill damage. This gives us 15%. So three piece hardwired is going to be necessary. Uh, plus two Hana Yu, which gives us skill haste and skill damage. And the backpack talent, perfect combined arms, 30% skill damage, one of the highest. And then glass cannon. Now you don't have to use glass cannon, but it's instant damage all the time. There are other ways you can get the damage up. Uh, but I really wanted to try and get the most amount. We're not going to be running around face trading NPCs or players. So glass cannon works with skills if you didn't know. So we can get huge amounts of damage. Let's go through the weapons and then the actual pieces. So the G36 is one of my favorite guns in the game. You can use whatever guns you want really. As long as you have in sync. Hitting an enemy grants 15% skill damage for 5 seconds. So what will happen is your skill. Uh, when you shoot an enemy. You're going to be getting giving your turret 15% skill damage. Now when your turret's doing damage, they work together. And then when using a skill, you get 15% weapon damage. It, it, when they're both up, they are doubled. So damage increases are, are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. So it's very, very strong. You get huge amounts of damage to your weapon and your skill. That's 30% each. So it's a must have. And you're going to be firing a lot. You've got to be a bit sneaky with this. Now you can use spike if you want. I put that on my pistol, especially if there's directives on the summit. Because this is a great build for the summit. You can hang back, just chill. It's a very good build for players who are new to the game and want to get through the most difficult content. So make sure you guys have this. Uh, mechanical animal is also very good. Future perfect. You can get... Uh, overcharge very quickly so it's very nice so make sure you guys get this you should have got it from the season if not you can just roll future perfect uh, on another gun it's completely up to you damage targets out of cover because you won't believe how much damage you can actually put out with the weapon it helps you get kills so th the pistol we're going to be using this now spike uh, headshots grant plus 20 percent skill damage for 15 seconds if you want you can roll another red or two so you can have two reds or two blues or a red and one blue then you just have to hold your pistol out and you get the skill tier make sure you are actually holding it guys it has to be in your hand for the uh, plus one skill tier to actually be working now i'm not sure about you but i i don't really want to focus on that because like i said you're giving up more damage with this you can put uh in sync on the pistol it depends how you want to play. You can even use a shield with this build. Uh, there's many ways, like I say, you must just tune it up to adapt to your own play style. Uh, let's go through each individual piece now. It's going to be pretty simple, guys. Three-piece hardwired. 
Now I've rolled skill damage on this and all my mods are skill haste, skill haste, skill haste, skill haste. Because I want to get that juicy 100% skill haste because the faster our skills come back, the better because we're relying on them quite a lot. Uh, then the other, the gloves, other hardwired skill damage. And then on the holster, I'm still trying to look for the perfect piece, but I've decided to put 10% skill haste just to reach that 100% because I have OCD. So weapon damage on there because we have got a skill tier from the specialization. So go for blue, go for red. I recommend going for red. Then on the chest piece, we've got one piece wyvern, which gives us another 10% skill damage because remember, skill damage and skill haste is the, is the aim of the game with this build. Then we've got glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. It's not a problem. And the funny thing is, is even without glass cannon, you still feel squishy, especially playing on legendary. So I really do recommend this. Uh, if you don't want, like I said, you can even go for unbreakable if you're suffering a bit. There are other talent, chest piece talents. We'll go through that right now after we've gone through this. So I've got status effects. I would rather have skill haste on there. Uh, so I need to farm for better pieces, but I've been trying and I feel like I'm almost there. So the bag, there's one in the clan vendor. Uh, sorry, not the clan vendor. In Cassie Mendoza, if I'm not mistaken. Cassie Mendoza is selling one with 9.9 .9 skill damage, if I, I do believe. I have made a Cassie Mendoza video. If you guys want to go check that out to make sure how to unlock her and everything like that, uh, go and buy it because this is uh, probably the, the best bag for damage, for skill damage in the game. Perfect combined arms and is a honey you variant skill damage skill haste we've got perfect combined arms which works perfectly within sync shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 30 percent for three seconds so as long as you're firing away every three seconds you'll be getting a lot of damage it's actually scary so make sure you guys go and get this one if you don't have it obviously the one piece of skill haste the two piece is extra skill damage knee pads honey you again skill damage skill haste very nice knees over there it's completely up to you guys like i said uh, how you do this uh, just i recommend uh, if you want to make a hybrid probably go for the memento bag and then have you know three yellows and then the memento and then two extra reds or blues then you can use the mechanical animal it's up to you i don't like to make this situational i like to just chill and throw the turret out when i'm feeling lazy and i want to farm control points i just pop a, a chill behind cover throw my turret and my drone out and then we, and we get going so we'll go through the stats then we'll go over the skills because there are other ones that i want to talk about what i showcase in some of the gameplay that you probably have watched already uh, i have gone through solo legendaries with these builds if you want to see i can show you guys i can even upload uh, a full video of me just doing a solo legendary it's, let me know it's actually not very hard it takes quite a long time if you're doing it by yourself because obviously you're relying on your skills to do the damage and it is situational but the damage output from the drone and the turret is very good that's why i use them uh, together so let's go through all the other stats everything else is for you to pause the video and have a read it's not too important when we get to here 102.3 percent skill haste very nice uh, we have 122k damage which is great remember this is amplified by a lot you can get with the artificial hive upwards of 350k as you saw from the gameplay so the drone as well we have the drone doesn't hit as hard but it does decent amounts of damage and it does help because the drone is mobile so it can get around a cover get around to the npcs now let's talk about what different types of skills and what you should be using in pvp this build is absolutely disgusting uh, if you throw a hive down it's it's actually not nice i, I don't want to show any gameplay the pvp damage is 287k it's it, it ruins people if you throw this in a, into a team even if the team have got healers and everything it will obliterate them it's really scary and i don't want to you know i know i'm telling you guys this but there are ways to mitigate it though you know jammer pulse and things like that so i guess it's not too terrible but it is plaguing conflict. So this is what people are doing. So I'm not really gonna promote it too much, um, especially through gameplay. But if you wanna do high amounts of skill damage in PVE, now Seeker Mines and Explosions are a bit more difficult. I think progressive damage over time, the turret and the drone are probably the best uh, because we don't actually have that many options if you really look into it. The Chem Launcher, there is a variant where we have Oxidizer. Now that doesn't do as much damage as you would believe. In PVP, it's not great. In PVE, the nice thing about it is if you have a lot of skill duration and skill haste, you can constantly spam this. Now, I don't recommend using the, the hardwired four piece with any kind of uh, skill that has ammo because it won't really work that well. You'll just be refreshing one bullet at a time. So that's up to you. You can go for that. I do recommend that. But one of the most fun uh, things to do is a sniper turret. Now, if you guys did not know in PvP and in PvE, it auto aims the NPCs. So you can sit back and it actually does i can do just over i think it's 11 or 12 million damage a shot with my sniper turret and in pvp you can you can one shot someone if they don't have that 1.3 million armor and more you'll one tap them 
So it's scary, even if you don't aim at their head, because if you aim at the head, it goes for a headshot. If you just let it auto aim, you can two shot someone with any kind of armor. If you have two point whatever million armor, I will two shot you with this. That's why it's so scary um, in PvP a build like this, but it is what it is, it's part of the game. As you can see, PvP damage 930,000, and that doesn't count when we proc combined arms and in sync. So it is what it is. You can do huge amounts of damage, and it's really cool because the cooldown is nine seconds. So you can dish out 15 bullets of uh, 12 million damage to the head and you just it just keeps going so i do recommend giving the sniper tower a try it's very cool but progressive damage over time and to relax this is probably the best build one of the f well the best combination of, of skills one of my favorite builds to just relax and let them do all the work it's really nice but this is going to require you to do a bit more yourself because of the glass cannon and the perfect combined arms but this is my skill build i know you, a lot of you guys wanted to see this so this is it i'm bringing out some of the builds that i normally use this is my go-to so let me know what you think in the comments uh, leave a like subscribe and i'll be seeing everybody in the next video peace out agents